Viewer discretion is advised. When someone from the crowd asked Miss Brittany Bowens why would she leave her child with that monster, Darian Vince, she replied, I love and trusted this man. How many times have I heard some woman make that cry about a man loving her and she trusting that man while the man goes upside her head daily? I am so confused about that. Because it was just the other day that you were saying that you had called off the engagement. He was your ex fiance. So there's more lies to this story. And I'm quite sure there are more lies to come. When on Friday, it was reported that Craig Davis, the father of Malia Davis, came by to visit his daughter. He was denied by this punk, Darian Vince. Now, I want to stop right there for a second because this goes to all men with children that are not, you know, in the same home with the child. If you ever go to visit your child and some stepdad, boyfriend, brother, I don't give a damn who it is, answers that door and tells you that you cannot visit your child, what you do is that thing that's on your hand they call a fist, you make one and hit that guy in his mouth and you don't stop till you get tired. But back to this lady here. You got Quantum Lakes up there with you. Then you got him speaking for you, saying that, oh, the guy Darren was gay and abusive. Why the hell did you stay with him? Why the hell would you allow him to babysit your child, live in your house, drive your car? If that was the case. That woman, Brittany Bowens, has the appearance of a mean and bitter woman. And I wouldn't put it past her that she would tell Darren that if the child's father comes by while she's out of town, don't let her child leave the house. They are saying that morally, yes, Brittany Bowens is wrong. But they're saying that legally, there's probably nothing they can do to her even though she's a fat, stupid, ignorant wannabe. I heard um, Cornel Lake say that, well, he made a statement about how many people he's gotten off. Well, from the people that I know that you uh, fucked up, because you didn't help them. They said you ran off with their money, and their ass got some damn time. So one good thing about you being with that uh, Brittany Bowens chick is, hopefully, since you're representing her, her ass will get some time. Why is it when there are cases involving blacks that they have to go directly by the law? I've seen many cases where they've tried and convicted people with the absence of a body. So I don't know why they're still playing around with this man. They've lowered his bond. Although he didn't make a court appearance because I feel as if when you don't make a court appearance, something's wrong there. Somebody kicked his ass. And so I'm happy for that. Brittany Bournes is being heckled and she's been embarrassed. But that is just not enough. Because you were negligent in your decisions and because of your anger and hatred toward the child's father 
you allowed a person that you knew, you because it come from your mouth, that you said was abusive. And you're going to trust this guy to watch your children. And although you said he was abusive, you turned right around and said, I loved and trust this man. Woman. You are a type of woman that is an inspiration for twin beds. People are asking why Malia's father wouldn't come by or didn't come by or wasn't in the child's life. But how could he be in a child's life with a woman like that? People want to play these games like they don't know. But these women know that the courts are on their side. And they use that as leverage to control the child's father. You, you can't see your child and she out of town. You couldn't trust the child's father to babysit his child. But you can trust a man who you said is abusive. Through all of your interviews, your crimes, <laughs> you just make a noise. Because not one tear came out of your eyes through the whole ordeal. The whole time you just making crying noises with no tears. This is something that the people that love Malia will never get over. So I'm really praying for that family. And I'm also praying that justice will be served and that Brittany will not escape punishment. As for that maggot, Darren Vince, I'm quite sure he's getting his punishment now.